male patient from a local nightclub. So uh, right now the only interventions that they that they have are um, oxygen at 15 liters. Bang. I be banging. All right, I be banging. Um, how old are you? I'm 24. For me? Sure. You're 24 years old. Mm -hmm. What's going on? Uh, my chest hurts real bad. It's especially when I lay down. When you lay down? Okay. How long ago did that start? Uh, just about a couple hours ago. A couple hours ago? All right. Now, uh, can you describe the pain to me? Uh, it's, it's like someone's stabbing me. All right. Uh, Ivy Bang, I'm going to just start an IV on you, okay? No problem with me. All right. Now, you, you said it feels like someone's stabbing you? Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, does the pain radiate anywhere? Uh, you mean, like, does it go anywhere? It's all over my chest. It's all over your chest? All right, does anything make it better? Uh, it's sort of when I sit up like this. When you sit up like this, it makes it better? Okay. Um, and maybe some still, drugs. Still 1 to 10, zero being no pain, 10 being the worst pain of all. Uh, can you uh, describe the right? Can you describe Definitely the a 10. A 10? Yeah. All right, it's been getting better or worse over time? Uh, worse. Worse? All right. Do you have any allergies to medications? Uh, no. No? All right. We're, uh, I'm going to lift up your shirt. I have to um, put the monitor on you, okay? Okay. Now, uh, you, do you have any past medical history? Uh, I got the HIV. You got the HIV? All right. The HIV. Okay. Uh, sometimes I use heroin. Sometimes you use heroin? All right, what was the last time? I think time? that's how I got it. All right. What was the last time you had something to uh, eat or drink? Uh, McDonald's before the club. McDonald's before the and club. And some heroin. All right. And you say it makes it feel better when you're sitting up? I don't know if it's better, but it's not as bad. Okay, now, um, has this ever happened to you before? No. no. Alright, so I'm going to put on the, uh, put him on the monitor, Paulo Lowe's with vitals. Vitals, 136 over 60, heart rate was at 80. Um, get the O2 set. All right. Ninety-two percent. Ninety-two percent. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I want you to, um, after I prepare and give them um, three hundred twenty-four milligrams of aspirin. Okay. Uh, respiratory rate twenty-four. Twenty-four. Okay. After, and then um, also, after you administer the acid, can you um, just prepare uh, some nitro? Aspirin, I think I need something stronger than that. Well, we'll, we'll try. We, uh, we got to do what we need to do first. And then uh, it's really just a preventative measure, measure just in case you're having a heart attack or something. I know you're young, but it's possible. So I'm going to put these stickies on you, all right? What all right. What we do is I'm going to take a picture of your heart. Where's that? Alright, here you go, buddy. Or cheese. Do you want nitro spray or tablet? Uh, we're going to just do the spray, but I want okay. you to hold off. I want to um, get the 12 lead first. Oops. You got that from me. So. <coughs> Looking at the 12 leads, I don't see any elevations or ST depressions. Uh, anywhere um, on here, but what I do see is concave T waves, which is an indication of pericarditis. So what I'm going to do is have Paulo administer 0.4 milligram sublingual nitro. Okay. All right. So we're going to wait. Uh, Paulo's going to reassess vitals. All right. I'd be banging. Do you have any relief with the nitro? No. No? It still hurts. Okay, so with the concave up T waves, the no relief from nitro, and um, the relief of pain when sitting up, uh, this is a uh, indication of pericarditis. So we're going to we're going to transport to um, uh, a cardiac capable um, hospital, 
And at this point, how much do you weigh, Abby Banyan? You look to be about, what, 130 pounds? Uh, yeah, that's about pounds? right. All right, so we're going to administer 60 mics of uh, fentanyl. And, uh, Good stuff. And uh, continue our, for the pain and continue our transport. 